Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, the beer review guy. I'm gonna do a Michelada. Um, this is from the La Brava. I've done the spicy version earlier. Um, this is the mild. Um, it's an eight and one drink mix. Um, I've had more of the spicy version, uh, so I don't have a whole lot missing out of the mild. Um, there, there was below half on the spicy, so I finished it off earlier. And it's, a, it's a really good mix. Um, this one here has got a little bit more left, so I'm not going to finish it off today, but um, uh, maybe next time. I've had this for quite a long time, um, so I'm kind of trying to uh, finish off some of my older Michelada mixes, and uh, uh, I've, I've really enjoyed the ones that I've had. Um, so I'm going to use this, the mild version, with a non-alcoholic uh, uh, beverage. And this is the Topo Chico, I just reviewed it. Um, this is the Twist of Grapefruit, and it's a, it's a nice water. It's not huge on the grapefruit taste, so I don't expect to taste it in my Michelada. But uh, it's, you know, people that appreciate the taste of a Michelada, but, but don't, don't expect to get a beer taste with their Michelada, um, you, you know, I mean, I like Micheladas because of the flavors that are in the mix. The, the beer doesn't always matter, in my opinion. Others may, may disagree, but um, some beers can stand out, some can't. The Michelada mixes are, in my opinion, are designed to have so much flavor in them that you enjoy the, the taste of the Michelada, the spices, the you know, tomato, the, the clam broth, the, the onion, the garlic, the vinegar all the flavors that are put into the Michelada mixes, um, you appreciate that. You appreciate that part. Um, the beer that you put in, sometimes you taste it, sometimes you don't. If, you know, it's a beer, has a little alcohol, you get a, you know, a light buzz with your Michelada, it's a bonus. Um, that's just my opinion. Others may disagree, like I say. Um, but, uh, you know, sometimes <clears throat> people don't have a beer. Sometimes they don't have any liquor at all. Um, but you have the mix. Um, you, I mean, these Michelada mixes are really good, and you can use different alcoholic beverages with these. They're called different things. Um, like, I think one's called like a, a Bloody Maria, which I think is a um, vodka. Um, <clears throat> you can use tequila. You can use uh, um, um, there's something else. But they're called different things. You can use different liquors with micheladas. But um, uh, anyway, um, so with the different liquors, of course, you can taste sometimes the different liquors. Um, but um, anyway, what I'm trying to say is you can appreciate micheladas without beer. And this is, you know, this is what I'm going to do on this one just to kind of show you that uh, I'm going to use tahini on this one. Um, you can use all the different stuff, the additives, the rimming salt that you usually do with them. Um, there's one thing I did forget, and I forgot my ice. And I wasn't going to forget anything, and I did anyway, so I'm going to go get my ice. <clears throat> so... Um, sometimes, you know, you just want to enjoy the Michelada, uh, the flavors without the beer. And, uh, what they say is that you can use is mineral water or, or seltzer water. Um, the Topo Chico is, uh, um, is one that they suggest that you use. And uh, it's one that I've been buying a lot of. Uh, so um, I'm going to use this new one with this mild and see how that is. This lime is a, a little bit older lime. It's starting to diminish on me a little bit. So I'm going to get rid of it and use it for my, my rim, for wetting my rim down a little bit and getting my... Uh, Tahin on here. Oh yeah. Or 
work it out good. Oh yeah, that's nice. A nice rimming of the tahini. Put it over here. Okay, so now the mixes, there's a, there's um, steps. Step one is fill glass halfway with ice. Um, Seems how I got my rimming salt on there, I can do that. So, might as well use them all. Okay, um, add your favorite beer. Well, I'm gonna add the Topo Chico Twist of Grapefruit. I'm not gonna put a whole lot in there though. I am going to just put half of it in there. I want to make sure I have enough room to double my mix, which I like doubling my mix because it, I like the flavors so much that I want it a little bit stronger. So they call for two ounces of this, so I'm going to do four ounces of it. I got it nice and shook up so all the spices are, are all around in there. Okay, so now, got that going on in there. Let's top it off with our Topo Chico. <clears throat> looks good, looks good. Give it just a little extra stir. A little bit more. I can finish it, okay. good. Very tomato-y. A little vinegar, garlic, onion coming through really, really well. Other spices. There's no heat. It is mild. Um, um, a little bit of chili in there. Um, salty. Very light black pepper, not a whole lot. Getting the anchovies a little bit. Um, it's lightly sweet with the corn syrup in there, high fructose. All right, here we go. Cheers. Oh yeah, very good. The mineral water, not having, um, very much flavor to it. Just that really twist of grapefruit. Um, I don't get the grapefruit in there because the other flavors are just knocking it out. But, uh, so you're getting all the flavors of the Michelada mix in there, diluted just a little bit because of the mineral water. But, uh, other than that, it's very enjoyable. The tahini on the rim is nice with the drink. A little stock of celery in there would be nice. Um, sitting out on the deck, drinking this, um, enjoying the day. You got other work you, you want to do, so you don't want any alcohol in there, but you can still enjoy this on a break time um, or just relax and it's really good. Um, sometimes alcohol makes you tired. You don't want to get tired in the evening because uh, it, it involves, you know, you're your spending time with your fa family and um, you don't want to get sleepy, so you, but you want to enjoy a Michelada. Um, so you make a non-alcoholic version. Um, you got some Topo Chico, you got some either some just regular salsa water um, to dilute it down a little bit and give it a little bit more, you know, body to it. Um, there you go. There you go. If you're interested in this mix, uh, you can contact them on, I believe, uh, Facebook. Um, and they do have a website. Um, it is www.labravamicheladamix.com. Um, they are out of South Houston, Texas. Um, I do not know 
if they are distributing right now, if they are sending out any of their mixes. Um, the only way you can find out is contact them, and that's what I would do, and just see if they can send um, send some out. Sometimes, you know, some of these warehouses, they can work safely, um, and uh, <clears throat> they're still producing more Michelada mixes. Sometimes they work out of their house. They can send it out of their house, maybe, um, where they're, con you know, they're kind of confined right now. Um, away from the possibilities of catching the, the coronavirus. So, uh, um, so just the only way you can find out is by contacting them. Um, just see. Uh, so you can have it sent to your house. You can be in while you're waiting for this, you know, the virus to pass. You can be enjoying micheladas, um, either alcoholic version or, uh, or non-alcoholic version. Okay. Well, I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. And we will see you on the next one.